I know you guys both teach and you educate people who are trying to get into this field. Can you give me some key questions that people who want to get into this industry should be asking people like you who are broker trainers before they invest in your program? Sure. So they should ask, what should I do first? Like, what's some of the beginning steps? And so do you want me to give you the answers as well? No, I just want key questions. And, and, and I guess I'm asking because, for instance, right? And I don't want I don't, I don't to put words in your mouth. But should they be asking, how experienced are you? You know, what, what makes Tristan and Sam even Definitely. qualified to be trainers? Like, if, if I'm going and I'm going to invest in somebody's program, what should I be, like, before I even give you a dime, what are the questions I should be picking your brain about to make me feel comfortable that you have the answers to the questions I would need to know, even if I don't know the questions yet? Gotcha. Actually, the question that you just asked is the question. If you're going to take training, that's exactly what you want to know. What, what experience does your trainer have? Are they actually brokering freight? Because that's the thing. Someone may actually have um, a, a training program and they have never or they're not currently broker, brokering freight. You know, um, again, I mentioned before, I started out as a freight agent. So I can, I can tell someone what that looks like to transition from an agent to a broker. That is a, that, that's the key question. If you're going to take a training class, find out why, what makes you qualified to train me. You know, you've heard both of our answers. We've both been in the industry. I've been in since 2009, you know, o over 10 years. We both have trucks of our own. We know what it actually takes to move a truck. We have major relationships with carriers. Um, we, we have connections with other people throughout the industry. That's not just carriers. We, we can provide resources to you. Um, you know, you can vet us. We have trucking companies. We have brokerages. Uh, we've made the mistakes. That's the biggest thing. We're not going to just teach you the steps A through Z on how to set up the brokerage, but we want to tell you what things you need to watch out for. We want to show you how we literally start out with talking to a customer on the phone, asking for an appointment, going to see them in person. Like, how do you really land that contract? How do you build a relationship with a carrier that can consistently move this freight for you? Like, those are the things that someone that, that's teaching a class should be able to show and prove. I mean, even if they wanted to see some documentation, you know? We, we, we have nothing to hide when it comes to brokering because we both, like, I personally had to start over from some of the, the things that have, have happened um, with brokering. So those are the things that we can share for, with, with any potential students. When, when we get in class, we actually pull up our, our back offices. We pull things up and let them see. We, we discuss the claims. We discuss the mistakes, discuss the mistakes with them. So um, those are just some of the things you want to look out for. You don't want to just take a class and you have no background knowledge of the person. I mean, see if there's other people in the industry that know them, right? If, if I want to take a class for real estate, I'm, I'm checking around with other people in the real estate industry. Can, can you tell me anything about this person? You know, are they really um, a real estate investor? Are they really a, I won't say guru, because you don't necessarily have to be a guru, but can they really teach me how to start and run a successful brokerage and help me with mistakes? Um, we have testimonies from students. Our students call us all the time. I'm so nervous. I did everything you said. I finally got a shipper. Um, I need to give them a rate. This is what I think. Can you tell me what you think? And then we ask them those questions. Have you talked to any carriers? You know, did, did you calculate really what it will cost um, a truck to move that load? So it, it's a lot that goes into it. It, it really is a lot. We, we spent a lot of time building our program. And our program also includes an actual carrier that's been on the road for a long time that can talk about equipment. Um, that, that, that can tell you about the ELD. You know, we, we include a lot in our training because it's not just go get the authority and start moving freight. It's just, it, it sounds good, but it's just not that simple. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. 
If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.